all right guys welcome back to your last tutorial and in this video all I want to do is I want to show you guys how you would keep score in this game I'm not going to be building an entire heads up display because you guys already know how to do that for my other tutorials but basically in order to score points in this game you would have to destroy this ball right here now whenever this ball gets destroyed of course the explosion happens and then what also you want to do is you want to put a little text notification that says like plus 10 plus 100 wherever the explosion happened just to show the user okay um this is how many points you got for destroying this enemy so the first thing that we need to do is we need to add another global variable and I'll just call this one score now of course the initial value of score is zero by default and now what you can do is we'll just go ahead and add it with a collision on meatball I guess so basically um, you're gonna wanna add it eventually with the ground but for right now we'll just work with uh, winning whenever you hit it directly with a meatball so the first thing we wanna do is whenever you hit the target with a meatball we wanna add um, we'll say like a hundred points to the score so system and this is actually just add to right here so basically add I don't know a hundred points to the variable score so that's what that does and now what's gonna happen is whenever we shoot this it's gonna add 10 or excuse me a hundred points to the score however the user doesn't have any way of seeing that or ever knowing that so what we need to do now is actually add some text notification on the screen so double click on your screen and add a text and we can just go ahead and click anywhere right now let me expand this alright so this if we put fonts in I'll make it a little bit bigger make it like 18 even bigger than that 22 we'll leave it at uh actually I'll put it at like hot pink hot pink is always really easy to see even hotter or maybe something different this is uh yeah kinda like that <laughs> I've spent like half the tutorial just picking a freaking color but anyways now that we have a text object on the screen what we can do now is go over back in the event sheets and actually I want to set this as plus 100 hit enter and it doesn't really matter where it is at this point because we're going to be spawning it right where the explosion happens so you can just leave it off your screen right there so basically um take your pretty much go to this event I don't know what I'm thinking I'm thinking of something stupid and add another action and the action is this target ball spawn another object just like we did with the explosion and this time we're gonna uh, spawn that text object and I probably should have renamed it something different but I'm an idiot so I didn't so spawn it just like you would explosion on layer one and now check it out now whenever we hit it with a meatball it says 100 now we're gonna notice one thing that's weird right here and that's this whenever we hit it it displays but it displays at kind of an angle and the reason for that is because it's actually um, parented to something else I won't get into that right now but I'll show you guys how to fix that little problem if you add another action and you just select this text right here what you can do is let me find set angle you can just go ahead and set the angle of this text object to zero right after you spawn it and it's going to spawn real quick and switch it to zero so to the user it's going to look like um I'll show you guys it's just going to look normal like you would want it to so right there there's your little notification that says plus 100 you got 100 points and also if you're keeping score um, it would add 100 to that local, or excuse me, the global variable score. So again, I'm not going to be building an entire heads-up display because you guys already know how to do that. Um, you probably want to have a score notification tally in the top left corner, something cool like that. But for now, hopefully you guys understand the basics of how to make a physics particle, um, you know, like Angry Birds style game. If you have any questions at all, then please ask me on my forum, buggiesroom.org slash forum download all the files for free and um well 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time.